Brandon Farms Little League team plays just outside Tampa, Florida. They are the regular season champions, city champions, and district champions. And the best player on the team is a girl. I've never seen a girl that could play this good. It's like really weird. But being the only girl isn't what sets Chelsea Baker apart from the boys. Hey Chelsea, just tell him you like him. You ain't gotta beat him up. At age 13, she may be the best little league pitcher in the country. A lot of kids, when they see a girl on the mound, they always say, oh, look, it's a girl, and they try so hard that they miss the ball every time. Uh, a girl struck you out? And is it any different than a boy striking you out? Some people might tease me, but I'm gonna deal with it. Some of the challenges playing with all boys is getting all the negative comments that people say. Most of the negative comments come from the parents. You ain't ever going to be able to stay with the boys. You should switch to softball and stuff like that. She just loves the game. She tried softball, she doesn't like it. So, baseball's her deal. When people say negative things about me, it just makes me want to try harder so I can prove them wrong. Sorry. In the past two seasons, she's pitched not one, but two perfect games, including one in an all-star game. This year, she posted an unblemished 12-0 record, striking out 127 batters in 60 innings pitched. Our fastball is around 65 miles per hour. An awesome pitcher. She's unhittable. She's too hard to hit. Sure, she's good. But what makes her really good? Chelsea's got something very few pitchers, little leaguers or major leaguers have. She's got a knuckleball. Throwing a knuckleball is kind of like riding on a Ferris wheel. When you're going down a Ferris wheel, the wind kind of pushes on your face. And when you're going up a Ferris wheel, the wind pushes down on you. I think the knuckleball is like floating like a butterfly. It doesn't stay in the same spot, it moves. It probably took me about two years to get the technique down. The knuckleball is really effective, and the catcher always says, oh, that's a nasty pitch, and he says it's really hard to catch. on the two fast balls and then I didn't know she had a knuckle curve and then the knuckle came in and it was just so dirty. I didn't know what to say. She does knuckleball 65 miles per hour. Whenever I usually strike somebody out with a the knuckleball, they sometimes start crying. Jim, stop crying. <laughs> What'd you do to that last batter? I saw him crying. I struck him out. <laughs> Plant City, Florida. It's the winter strawberry capital of the world and the farmland birthplace of Chelsea Baker. In 1997, Chelsea's mother had dreams of her daughter wearing diamonds, not playing on them. I just knew one day I was gonna have a little girl and I was gonna dress her up and fix her hair. She thought I was gonna be like a girl who's always in beauty pageants and stuff. And she told me at age five she would do one. And she did pretty good. I thought she was the most beautiful, but she didn't win. Come on, Chelsea! Oh! That same year, Chelsea started playing t-ball. In 2005, at age seven, she was a perennial all-star and joined an all-star traveling team, the Plant City Patriots. Number one, Chelsea Baker. Let's go, sister! There she became friends with another player, JJ, and his dad, legendary knuckleball hurler Joe Necro. 
a former Major League pitcher with 221 career wins. Our pitching coach, Mr. Joe Negro. Yeah, Joe! I saw my coach, Joe Negro, throw me the knuckleball, and I wanted to learn it. Coach Negro is where my Chelsea up for pitching next. You know, my dad really helped everyone out there. And Chelsea obviously took a liking to the knuckleball and she's successful. Every batting practice he'd throw that pitch and I'd always ask him to teach me how to throw it. And he'd always say it's a secret. But finally one day he taught it to me and I learned it. Go Chelsea! Every time that I went to go throw a game, he would always get on his knee and give the ball to me. He would only give it to her if she uh, kissed him on the cheek and then they all smiled and laughed. It was just funny to see. I looked up to Coach Joe a lot. I knew that Coach Joe loved me and thought I was special. Just months after the 2006 Little League baseball season ended, life changed for the Negro family and for Chelsea. On yeah, October 26th in 2006, my dad, he had a brain aneurysm. And we needed to get to the hospital as soon as we could. And, you know, everything just happened from there. I actually found out that Coach Joe had passed away. I was on the way to the ballpark. It was just a really sad moment. Joe Negro died at the age of 61. Chelsea attended his funeral and wrote a tribute to her baseball friend and mentor. Coach Joe taught me so much in the few short years I knew him. He taught me how to have pride in myself and to be humble. Most of all, he taught me how to throw his famous knuckleball. I miss seeing him and his happy face at the ballpark. I will always remember and love you, Chelsea Baker. I do remember Chelsea coming in with her mother and her mother asking me if it would be okay if Chelsea could put uh, a ball in the casket for Joe. And I said yes, because I knew that you know Joe would have a great big smile on his face to know that. We knew that, that she was going to miss him. We didn't realize at that time what a big part of his life she was going to become. Since Necro's death over the last four years, Chelsea hasn't lost a single sanctioned Little League game and has mastered the knuckleball. Chelsea's connection with the Negroes was never more poignant than in the final game of this past regular season. On May 7th, the two best teams in the Plant City Little League faced off. Give it up for Chelsea Baker. It was our last game of the season, and uh, we knew they were going to throw their best. And we knew we were going to throw our best. Chelsea Baker started on the mound for her team. On the opposing mound, J.J. Necro. Batter up! That was the first time I pitched against JJ, and I think that was the first time he's ever pitched against me, too. Now batting number 12, Chelsea Baker. I was thinking about Coach Joe whenever I was pitching during that game. Both pitchers threw complete games. JJ struck out six. Chelsea struck out nine. When it was over, her team won the game four to one. I think a lot of my success has to do with Coach Joe because he taught me how to pitch. Joe Necro's knuckleball lives on through a 13-year-old girl, Chelsea Baker who is clearly in a league of her own. I think I'm breaking barriers. I'm doing a new thing that not many people have done. I really want to prove people wrong because it will probably change the world. 